Hello, and welcome to AP Human Geography, Chapter 1, Part 3 of Introduction to Human Geography by the Educators of Orange County. To begin, we'll go over regions. A region is an area that shares a similar characteristic or multiple similar characteristics as a whole and is noticeably distinct from other regions. For example, Inner Mongolia is a region of China, and Northwest, Midwest, Mid-Atlantic, Northeast, Southeast, Southwest, and West are regions of the United States. There are three specific types of regions, and the first one we'll go over is a formal region, also known as a uniform region. A formal region is a region with a shared trait throughout the entire region. There are two types of formal regions, a physical formal region and a cultural formal region. Physical formal regions are regions with defined boundaries. Cultural formal regions are regions where all the residents share one or two cultural traits. The boundaries of cultural formal regions often change much more frequently than the boundaries of physical formal regions. For example, when you take a look at the graph to the right of the screen, you can see that these countries are all French-speaking countries. All of these countries are a part of the cultural formal region of the region that speaks French. The physical formal region would be specifically one of these nations with defined boundaries. For example, the nation of France. To continue, a functional region, also known as a nodal region, is a region that is defined by a specific set of activities and or interactions that occur within the region. The center of the activity is known as the node. The nodes sometimes share a purpose that could be political, social, or economic. An example of a functional region could be New York City. New York City would be the central business district where most of the political, social, and economic activities or interactions occur. The area around the city would also be a part of the functional region as they all apply to the specific node. A vernacular region or a perceptual region is a region that is perceived by the population that lives in the region. It is often used to understand the cultural aspects of the people. Some of the cultural traits of the people can include clothing, food, language, religion, and etc. An example of a vernacular region could be the Bay Area. The Bay Area is a term often used by people to identify a specific area in Northern California, but it does not specifically include a certain amount of cities. Another example could be the Caribbean. There are numerous countries that are part of the Caribbean, but it is not specifically stated which countries are a part of the Caribbean. Furthermore, culture is a very significant vocabulary term when used to understand AP Human Geography. Culture is an all-encompassing term that includes the physical lifestyle of people and their prevailing values and beliefs. It includes routine living habits and schedules, layouts of fields, farms, buildings, food or clothing preferences, systems of education, law, government, and much more. Some more important vocabulary terms that contribute to the idea of culture 
include cultural trait, a single attribute or characteristic of culture, culture complex, a unique combination of cultural traits, cultural hearth, an area where cultural traits originate and from which they develop and diffuse, and independent invention. When such a trait originates in more than one hearths without being impacted by its development elsewhere. An example of a cultural hearth could be the United States for McDonald's. McDonald's could be considered a cultural trait in the United States, and McDonald's has now diffused internationally. To conclude, you may refer to these two textbooks for more information. Thank you for watching AP Human Geography, Chapter 1, Part 3 of Introduction to Human Geography.